Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in the UK and the title of this video is how to set your Strat pickup height. Now whether you've just put new pickups in uh, or whether you've actually just looking at the stock pickups in your Strat, what I'm going to talk through with you this afternoon is just how to actually go about getting the best sound that you possibly can from those pickups. Okay. Now the guitar I'm going to use is a GNL Legacy. As you can see there on the screen, it's a lovely maple strat and it's loaded with our ID Chris Buck 57 strat pickups. And I'm just going to show you sort of where to set your strat pickup heights. Now this, this seems to be a, a kind of like a controversial subject amongst a lot of even pickup makers and setup guys. But the way I'm going to show you is quite straightforward and hopefully easy to follow. Okay, You'll need a little bit of equipment. Okay, You're going to need a really good ruler and I'm going to work in millimetres. Apologies for those of you in North America, but it's just I find it a lot easier to actually go along with the measurements on the ruler. So you're going to need a good steel ruler that has measurements all the way down to the bottom and you're going to need a what we call a Phillips head or cross head screwdriver. Okay. Um, I will put up the Imperial measurements on the on the screen as well. We love using Imperial measurements as much as anybody. But it, I just think it makes a little bit more sense because if I was going to give you a measurement that was like one two hundred and fifty eighths, it's not going to make as much sense as if I was going to give it to you in millimeters. Okay. Now, um, why would you want to set your strap pickup height? Okay. Well, the best the reason for that is to get the optimum sound out of your strap. Okay. Also, is so that you don't have volume jumps when changing between the bridge, middle, and neck pickups. Okay. To my mind, they should be the same volume, and there shouldn't be a jump when going between them. Okay, although of course there may be circumstances where you do want a volume jump, but generally, when you're going from pickup to pickup, there should be a tonal change and not a volume change. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the method in a few in a, in a bit now. I'm going to show you a different video of us and how exactly we set our height. Now, as I said, it's this slightly controversial subject, really amongst pickup makers because some pickup makers and setup guys like to set the pickup height by ear. Now this is great and if you're you know very very well experienced then this is quite easy to achieve but for me someone like I get a little bit indecisive when it comes to oh is that right oh I'm not sure and I find that I'll go back and forth to the same guitar and I'll be thinking Oh, I don't know that neck really has got a little bit too much travel on it. I'm going to dial it down. And what I find is before long, I'm actually not enjoying playing the guitar as much because I'm fiddling about with the settings on the guitar. So I prefer to use a measurement and then do a little bit of fine tuning later on. But we use a measurement to get the pickups at the height that we want them to be. And really, this is kind of like the, the set and forget philosophy whereby you set your height and you just forget about it and then you get on with enjoying playing the guitar. So I'm going to give you a measurement one, okay, which is going to be great for like 99% of the time, okay, and if you want to do a bit of fine tuning, you can, okay. Now, if you look at the picture on your screen now, you'll see that the pickups will end up at different heights, okay. Now the reason for this is that different positions on the guitar have different sort of levels of vibration. Now the string next to the bridge isn't going to vibrate much, but when you, by the time you get to the, the neck pickup, that's actually much further down the string and it's going to vibrate a lot. So if you look at, at the picture, you will see that the neck pickup is going to end up lower and the bridge pickup is going to end up higher and the middle will be somewhere in the middle. And this is to offset the volume differences on striking the string at, at different places along the string. Okay. Um, now, what I'm going to main thing I'm going to get you to do really is to put your finger on the string at the last fret, okay? And then we're going to measure from that string. Now, every time we measure, we're going to measure from the top of the pull piece to the bottom of the string and the very, very bottom of the string, okay? And not to the middle of the string, but to where it reaches the string, okay? We're gonna, I'm going to be using terms like bass side and treble side. And what it means is, on the low E, that's the bass side, the high E, that's the treble side. Okay, so I use that quite a lot because it's fixed in my brain now. Now, 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your steel rule, okay, and you're going to use a crosshead screwdriver like this. And the best way to do this is to have the guitar in your lap because then you can see the measurements from above and just hold it in the, in the sitting and playing position. But in the little videos coming on the screen in a second, we've put it on a worktop just so that we can display it easily, okay? Otherwise I'd have to film it over my shoulder, which isn't gonna look great. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down, we'll have a look at the neck pickup first, you're going to hold down the string at the last fret and we're gonna measure the pull piece from, so from the top of the pull piece to the bottom of the string using the steel rule. And then we're gonna measure, so the bass side, and then we're gonna measure the treble side. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of note of these measurements, and then we're gonna use the Phillips screwdriver to raise or lower them, and we're gonna to have to keep measuring back and forth until we get them to the right height that we want them to do. Okay, now the measurement that we use for our pickups is 2.2 millimeters on the bass side and two millimeters on the treble side. And that's for all three, okay? So once you've done your neck pickup, move on to your middle pickup, and there's gonna be a lot of just sort of raising and lowering and, and, and keep remeasuring. Expect this to take, you know, about 15 to 20 minutes really, especially if you're like me and a little bit indecisive, okay? And you wanna keep just checking also make sure you do this in a well lit room because if you do it in the dark you can't really see the measurements that great so get all the lights on um now keep doing it keep going back between so treble side and bass side keep measuring from the top of the pull piece to the bottom of the string and do it for all three positions until you have them set according to those measurements okay so it'd be 2.2 millimeters bass side two millimeters on the treble side now you've got your pickups there, we're now going to compare them. So what I want you to do is take the strat, plug it in, and just go between the pickups. Now, first of all, you want to see if it sounds to your taste, okay? Because if it, if it doesn't, then you want to have a little bit of a tweak, okay? Now, your instinct should be to lower, not to raise, okay? So if you go to the neck pickup, for instance, and you think, Ah, uh, it's a little bit trebly, okay? Don't raise the bass side, but lower the treble side, okay? And what I think is really helpful is to actually lower it or raise it by amounts that you can easily undo, okay? So if you lower, let's say, the treble side, take note of where the screwdriver, the, the actual screw is, and imagine it like a clock, if you will, and let's say you have one of the screws at say 11 o'clock, then if you're going to do a quarter turn, you would be turning to, let me think, you'd be turning to eight o'clock, okay? If you wanted to do a half turn to actually lower it quite a lot, then you'd be lowering it to five o'clock and so on. Because then if you don't like it, it's not like you're gonna get the ruler back out again. You can actually just put it back exactly where it was. And where it was. So just take note of that. So if you're on the neck pickup and you think, oh, that's too trebly, lower the treble side by, let's say, quarter of a turn. Maybe even an eighth of a turn, okay? Um, so don't raise the bass side to offset that. You should, your, as I said, your instinct should be to lower the pickup and not raise it, okay? Um, go through all the positions and just see what you think of what it sounds like at the moment now that you've set it where we suggested. And now have a look at just making some little tweaks, okay? So this is kind of like, you know, it's not a, a set and forget, if you like, where you measure it and just leave it. You're now going to go along and just see if you're going to make some little tweaks to the sound, okay? And just little tweaks, right? What would be a good idea is to run through something like a pentatonic on all of the strings, let's say A minor pentatonic, just the first position, and go through and just see if there's an evenness of tone and volume from string to string, okay? Now, once you've done that for the pickups, you can then start to compare the, the volume between all three, okay? And you're looking for, you know, volume jumps. You wanna make sure that they're all the same volume, ideally. Now, again, if you were to say switch from the neck pickup to the middle, and you think, right, you've gone to the middle now and there is a volume jump, 
okay? For instance, again, with the instinct of lowering the pickup rather than raising it, you can go along to the middle pickup now and think, right, I'm gonna lower both sides by a quarter of a turn. Then go back and check the middle versus neck, switch between them, play for a bit, and just see if you think that volume difference has gone or whether you need to lower it a bit more. Do this for all the positions and then hopefully you, what you're going to find at the end, and as, again, this should take about 20 minutes, what you're going to find at the again, sorry, at the end is that hopefully you've got no volume difference between all three settings and you've got the sound that you want, okay? Um, that's it, basically. Okay, we're going to be doing Telecaster pickup height setting, which is a little bit more complicated because there's a bit of a blend in there. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want any information on our pickups, just give us a shout. And we're also on Facebook, so be, feel free to follow us, okay? Thanks for watching, guys.